okay. in this video we are going to now uh, do the calculations early start early finish late start late finish for the diagram which we have already developed for this that is the AO diagram which we developed in our last lecture or last video so this is the our network diagram and first we will give the number of wicks so A is taking 3 wicks B is taking 4 wicks E is taking uh, 3 wicks right D is taking 2 wicks C is taking 2 wicks okay I is taking 2 weeks. F is taking 7 weeks. G is taking 3 weeks. Right. H is taking 4 weeks. Okay. J is taking 4 weeks. And K is taking 1 week. Right. So we have captured all the duration of all the activities. Dummy activity just show that these two are are the same uh, nodes or same time nodes or same you know the the activity I cannot start for unless E and B are finished, right? But this particular dummy node will not have any. A name of the activity neither the time because it's zero time so for calculation of early start early finish we usually use crosses on the for each and every activity and in the top quadrant we use early start es early start early finish and in the bottom quadrants we use Late finish means we are going to calculate in this direction. Late finish and late start. The difference between the two early finish and early start is the duration of the activities. Similarly, late start and late finish. The difference is duration of the activities. Right. Now first we will create the cross for this every activity. On the top of the activity, I am going to create a space for this. A, here I am B will be here. I will be here. J will be here. K will be here. For H, I will use the below portion. For G, I will use the below portion. For C, I will use the below portion. Usually empty portion. For D, I will use here. For F, I will use here. For B, I will use here. Uh, and now we will start the calculations. Both the starting activities will get the early start as 0 for both starting activities. Okay. 0 plus 3 is 3 here. 0 plus 2 is 2 here. First, we are going to finish calculating early start, early finish for all the activities. And then we will come back and calculate late finish and late start. So this 3 goes to the next activities as starting time for E as well as for B because that is the next activity, 3. 3 plus 4, I will write 7 here. 3 plus 3, I will write 6 here. Right. Now this 6 I cannot immediately put for this I. Why? Because there is a, another activity which is also coming to this node. So unless I know this, then only I will be able to do this. So if you look at this activity, it is emerging after B. So this 7 will be also coming up to here. So 7 is E coming here, 6 is coming here and we will choose the higher of the two so i will write seven here why because see activity i cannot start unless both b and e are finished so e is finishing on sixth week 
B is finishing on seventh week. So I cannot start on sixth week. It has to wait for B to finish and it will start on on uh, the seventh week only. Seven plus two nine, right? Now if you come here, this seven will also come for F. Seven plus seven fourteen. This seven will also come for D. Seven plus two nine. At this G, 2 and 9, so I will take 9 higher, 9 plus 3, 12. Now for H, 14 and 12, higher is 14. So 14 plus 4, 18. Right. So now for J, 9 and 18, these two are coming for J. So I will take higher, 18, 18 plus 4, 22, then 22 plus 1, 23. Okay. Now, suppose there is another activity also here and the maximum of the, the 2 will be the starting for the back calculation. So, suppose 23 is the maximum. So, I will use 23 for all the ending activities. Right? As my backward calculation. Right? So, 23 minus 1. Now, here we will do minus. 23 minus 1. 22 that 22 comes here 22 minus 4 18 that 18 will be coming here for i as well as 18 will come for h 18 minus 4 14 this 14 will come this is the direction suppose i mistakenly did not put so 14 will come for this and also 14 will come for this 14 minus 7 7 14 minus 3, uh, 11, right? 11 plus 3, 14. This 11 will come here, 11. Also, it will come here, 11 plus 2, 9. 11 minus 2, that is 9. Now, this 9 for this, this 9 and this 7. When we are coming backward, okay, let us calculate I. For I, 18 minus 2, 16. Right. So for E activity, there are these two. We have to go on the reverse direction. So here we are going here. So 16 will be here. And this direction is here. So we will come in the reverse direction. So this 7 cannot go in this direction because we are now following reverse direction of the arrow. So here this 16 will be here. 16 minus 3, uh, 13. Right. And then uh, for this 7, you have to take the minimum from 7, then this reverse direction will come. 16 and this reverse direction 9. 7, 9 and 16, I will take minimum 7. 7 minus 4, 3. Now for A, I will take the minimum of these two, 13 and 3, 3, 3 minus 3, 0. So wherever the late, this 2 and this 2, that is late start and late, early start and early finish, both are matching, late start and late finish are matching. These are called as critical activities. So here we have A is a critical activity, B is a critical activity, F is a critical activity, H is a critical activity, J is a critical activity. K is the critical activity. So what is my critical path? Is A, E, B, F, H, J, K. A, B, F, H, J, K. And this is the also the longest path and the project duration which is the minimum duration it will take to finish right is 23 weeks that is the length of the critical path. So this is the minimum duration required to finish the project.